Hello, and this is just a small selection of things that you can see and do in Germany in August 2013. Now, before we start with the actual events, let's just go through the public holidays in Germany of this month. There are only two and they only affect a small number of people. These are days when you can expect shops to be closed. Um, on the 8th, is the Peace Festival in Augsburg, and that is a public holiday in the city of Augsburg and only in the city of Augsburg, nowhere else. And on the 15th is Assumption Day in Saarland and in Catholic areas in Bavaria. Now, the new school year will be starting in many places in Germany throughout August. On these days and in the following days, you can expect to see school children walking to and from new schools and unfamiliar routes. So be especially careful. There'll be banners going up in towns and villages all over these areas, asking drivers to take special care and slow down. So, um, the new school year begins on the following dates in the following states. Uh, I'll begin with the 31st of July in Hamburg, and then in August, the 2nd in Berlin and Brandenburg, the 3rd in Mecklenburg, West Pomerania and Schleswig-Holstein, the 7th in Bremen and Lower Saxony, the 16th in Hesse and Rhineland-Palatinate, the 17th in Saarland, the 23rd in Saxony in Thuringia, and the 28th in Saxony-Anhalt. Now, for those of you who are traveling through Germany by rail, um, there are still problems uh, in connection with the floods that we had earlier this year. In particular, there's a stretch of line uh, near the town of Stendal, which is uh, still uh, being affected basically uh, and this in turn is affecting both local and long distance rail transport particularly between Berlin and parts of Western Germany in fact almost all of Western Germany to Berlin um, now, uh, these lines have been operating an emergency timetable. There have been uh, improvements to the timetable, but it is still an emergency timetable. No word on when that will come to an end. Uh, so basically, check times of trains online because printed timetables may not be accurate. So, let's go through some of the events and uh, beginning on the 31st of July and going through to the 4th of August in Ostsee Bad Heringsdorf is the so-called Kaiser Tage. Now this recalls the early 20th century when Heringsdorf was one of the uh, Kaiser's favorite places to go so there'll be lots of people uh, dressing up in period costume including a look-alike of the Kaiser himself and of his wife uh, and uh, there'll be processions and everything um, recalling that period um, and uh, by the way most of the events that I've picked for you this month uh, have to do with uh, traditions and German history and uh, old stuff like that so uh, there's, there's a lot of that going on and also I forgot to mention just now uh, you'll find in the video description below links to websites with more information on these events, although unfortunately most of them, sad to say, are not actually available in English, um, but I'm sure you'll manage. Um, on the 2nd and the 3rd in Grafenau is the Salt Trader Festival. Now this recalls the time when Grafenau was a midpoint of a salt trading route between Bavaria and Bohemia. And this is actually reenacted for the festival. People dressed up as medieval traders will be camping in a small village about five miles away on the Friday night. And they will come into town on Saturday with their horses and everything and there will be a huge market um, and so forth. On the 2nd to the 4th, in a place called Niendorf Ostsee, which is part of the Timmendorfer Strand municipality, is the harbour festival and fish market for anybody who's interested in either boats or fish or both. Uh, I should point out that although uh, the name of the municipality is Timmendorfer Strand, if you go to Google Maps and type in Timmendorfer Strand, it'll actually send you, for some reason, I don't know why, to the wrong place. So instead, look for Niendorf Ostsee. Uh, that's where the festival actually is. Moving on. 
Uh, also from the 2nd to the 4th in Saarbrücken is the Saar Spektakel. Uh, that's a more modern thing. Water sports of many different kinds. Um, water sports to watch and some water sports uh, and other events to uh, get involved in. And there's lots of things for children to do as well. On the 2nd to the 11th is the big festival in Augsburg. This is the Historisches Bürgerfest and it includes uh, the Peace Festival on the 8th, which I mentioned previously, that's the one that has its own special public holiday uh, for Augsburg only. Uh, the whole of Augsburg will be transformed, set back in time to medieval times uh, with its uh, huge markets and uh, yes, all the rest of it. So. If you're interested in medieval historical stuff, you could try Augsburg. On the 3rd and the 4th is the Charburner Festival in Hasselfelder, which is right in the middle of Germany. Now, this goes back to the time when, well, this goes back to making charcoal the old-fashioned way. And uh, there's also lots of entertainment, there's food, there's a traditional market there. On the 15th to the 18th in Wismar is the Sweden Festival. Um, activities, entertainment, processions and various other festivities that recall the period when Wismar actually belonged to Sweden. It's a few centuries ago, but for well over 100 years, Wismar actually belonged to Sweden. So lots of things that are Swedish there. On the 17th is the Night of the Palaces in Potsdam. Now this takes place in Sanssouci. There's a huge park in Potsdam. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site and there are lots and lots of palaces there and on this one night uh, there uh, you can have an evening of theatre, dance and concerts and various stages th uh, throughout Sanssouci. It's all floodlit and there are people in period costumes and everything and it's supposed to be extremely romantic. Uh, on the 25th is the Kürztinger Rostag in Bad Kürzting. Uh, this is to do with horses. Lots of horses and old pre-industrial farming equipment and methods uh, for you to look at and marvel at. And on the 38th in Berlin is the Long Night of the Museums. Now in Germany, uh, uh, most large cities have a long night of the museums at some point during the summer. Berlin, I think, was actually the original uh, long night of the museums and this year it's on the 31st of August. The idea is that uh, all the museums stay open, or all participating museums, I should say, stay open until the early hours of the morning and you can go there and they have uh, special uh, exhibitions and lectures going on, although you should probably book in advance. If you have anything to add to what I've just said, then please, in the comments, below. Also, if you have any recommendations uh, for September of things that you think should uh, I should mention in September um, in the comments below. Um, and other than that, enjoy yourselves!